Good evening, folks. It's uh, February 1st on the 23rd day. I mean, uh, 2023, excuse me. Actually, just start this again. Oh, God, there goes the microphone down. Hey, let me just start this again. Good evening, folks. It's uh, 2001 on the first day, second month, 2023. Look at me to break routine and say things different. What in the seven names just happened here? Well, let's just have a cruise tour. Hey, this is us. This is us, England. Oh, 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 look at the winds. Look at the winds. Look at the line coming. Look at the common. Look at the common. Smack a roll. Have some snow in the north. Up there. Yeah, we got some totals coming. Nothing too extreme. Nothing England can't handle because this is a wet area. However, uh, some other people are uh, not as fortunate. Uh, not as fortunate. As we're seeing uh, some of the totals which I had predicted before uh, coming to fruition as the honesty of the plan and for the people that understand to just stay with what they think um, is coming to fruition. I was worried about this. At a coastal highway looks to be the Fubario zone coming up uh, on the tens. But you do got time to move around if you're down there. Right? Get your, get your shit in order because you're going to get a smack. Everybody says you're going to get a smack. They're not all decided how much of a smack you're going to get. Uh, I say you're going to get a smack. You're going to get a smack. Right? This is I, I don't back off my forecast very often once I do some decidings. And again, I feel this stat here is inaccurate for this area. But access is, is kind of telling the truth here. you got to have a gap in the trough here. Because they've had some totals already. And as that evaporates, it's gonna go, cool air is going to descend into this little area here. Might have a little bit of chilly nights. And it's going to fuel both sides of this. And Maury's going to own it with its own radar station. And the totals here are going to be uh, nothing short of devastating. Uh, as all these totals race towards uh, these towns that are along this highway. What is it? The, um, the B-76. Yeah, the Kembran B-76, eh? The Lungra. How your lungs feeling there? Of the Lungra. The lungs of Ra. Need some sunshine for that, though, in Varel. Yeah, you got a lot of totals going to run your way as well. And these mountain sections here are going to be in the impassable zone. Uh, don't numb nut yourself on these holes. It's going to be slides. Count on it. Unpredictability, bad visibility, and torrential, torrential rains. This is, this is going to be quite a major event as a tendril from the tropics is working its way in towards Australia now, but it's 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 well far away. Yep. Again the Durham Downs. What do they want here? This place keeps coming up. What's your main uh industry here? You had an airport, something's going on. The watering hole. It was a cattle station? I see watering hole, I think cattle station. There's a flat here and you got a hill. So at least you got a place to put stuff. You know, when, when you're having a difficulty, these hills might save your life. You know the lay of the land. But if, if it's a little finger lake like that, it's going to be a big, big finger to you um, if you're hanging around it. And again, this road probably is going to have some difficult. Well, it's going to have some difficulties. Freak the probably's. We get enough probably's from mainstream news. I don't do probably's. I tell people, I don't cry wolf. I show you why I say stuff. And well, I have a tendency to wear the wolf. Uh, down from the hills, I tell you, I took care of it before it got yours. Yeah, there's the Highway 14, must be a, a developmental road. Diamant, Diamantina. Hmm. Well, a development road, Kenny says it. Oh, hey, Charlieville, how you doing? Hello, Charlie. Going to the chocolate factory much? Do petit doot. Oh, yeah, that's a really good junction right there. Yeah, that's that could be a possible satellite city location. It's far enough away. Yeah, yeah, that would be a great satellite city. What do we call this one? D District 23 or 223? Or 322? Hello, Charlie. Oh, yeah, this is a great intersection here. Yes, this... Yeah, agenda-wise, yeah, that would make a good satellite city. So we'll be looking for the proposals of what they're doing here. I do. I want to hear what they've been proposing. Have we got any set cams for this? See, I want to see some cam reaction. What's going on out here? I know we did. 
I want to see what your sky looks like out here. So just humor me. Oh, there's a big line of cam in the distance. Oh, there's a separation between this. What the hell kind of deck is that? And a separator. We've got a, some kind of a square cloud underneath this one here. So if we hit this from a laser from above, it'll make a really cool looking hole cloud. Hole punch cloud. And what you're peeking through here is on a very high deck. But this is going up underneath it. Just, that's just a weather uh, station thing. That reports things. You should put that right next to the black top where it's hottest. No animals don't peek by or nothing. Look at how much. Oh, there's one. There's a bird. That's really easy bird. So anyways, I've got a lot of BMF up there in that high deck. Bzzz, getting fried. Getting fried. Stray style. Fried. And you being too chicken to stop it. Australia are the Kentucky Fried Chickens. Hey, look, there's a dog. What are you doing? You looking at me? Stop looking at me. You looking at the truck? Boy, stay in the truck. Okay. <laughs> hey, there's an engine in the back. Little four banger. And the engine's no longer in the back. This person pulls up. And he's longer there. Think you're being monitored? Other people might do this. Anyways, that's not showing me anything I need to see today. So you get some horrendousness coming all along this corridor. Perfect parabola to run a new road. I just bypass Charlieville altogether. Hey, F you. I will make Cunnilingus the new capital here. Oh, that's a good, st good strategic spot. Oh, look at all the highways meeting here. You go down to the crossroad. Bring the Kim Bammers by the side. Bim bim bada bing bang bong. Oh man, look at this. Oh, that bottom lands. Well, you got to get ready for it. You got to get ready for it. That high roads. What a beautiful drive that is. It's always a high road in him bin. And we get crabs at the creek. And y'all be careful eating those. What, uh, what are y'all calling them? They, they look like crayfish and big long things. You don't think they've been sifting up some heavy crap for them? All them floods? Oh my gosh. They do look tasty though. You put one in a hot dog bun. Mm, butter. Hey, Stanthorpe, you went from having having no water to way too fucking much. Oh, look at this stretch here. Yeah, you, you look like you need some progress. Yeah, a little build back better time. Or a little build back. The Severn River. Oh, man, this is bad. You can be pinching a loaf up there on sugar loaf. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You, you're going to get it. Why? Because look at what you got. Look at what they want. They want the old bona ball inside you. What highway's there? So he's a highway, man. It's just like, you ain't gonna have like a flood in the middle of the nothing. And there's a lot in the middle of the nothing out here, right? Right here, where the water then runs to the something. Sheesh, I keep zooming to them. That's never good. If I keep going, mm, and I zoom in on that, that place a lot. Look at this tendril over here to the outside of um, Mari, up here in the state lane. See, it just picked up a difference in the color. Oh, of course, right there. Right on the convergence of river. Minji. <laughs> the Mangina. That's Mangina town where you go to buy your man pants. You put them on your high knee chin. You just carve that thing. Squeeze the black cat out of it and amuse me. What we got here? What is the name? We got cotton fields or something out here? When the cotton pig is going out of here. When it ain't going to be lacking no water. Really, what is that? I'm very curious. Somebody tell me what that is. Thank you very much for that. Because you'll be telling me very quickly. Are we running? We are running. Oh, yes. It's, it's not quite my birthday for... Uh, I get... My, don't don't make me old before my time. All right? I, I, I get to all after midnight tonight. And by a technicality, I was born in the East Coast of the United States. I can milk, I can milk out being 58 for a few more hours, if you don't mind. But thank you very much for your, for your pleasant birthday wishes. You know, if you'd like to buy me a coffee for my birthday, I'd like that even more. Or, or maybe even a pint of beer at the show tonight or tomorrow, because it's going to be my birthday tomorrow. And you can do so at P-A-Y-P-A-L dot M-E forward slash Robert Deutsch. If for some reason I pulled up the combination of it all, 
Would you look at New Zealand over here? Oh boy, look at the blast going off here. Are we finally going to rein in a New Zealand group where I can actually join and participate? Because I've actually said hello to a couple people one today. East admin, you know. Nigella. <laughs> hey, for everyone with Nigella. Yeah, I'm just looking at the bombs over here, feeding this center of squareness out here. While I'm looking at my Wanua get bombed all the fuck over the, over the volcano field here. The White Island and all this out here in the Wakatani. Wakatani. Hey, Auckland. You ain't out of the woods yet. They got you in the sights. What do they want? A new tram line? Or do they want your house on the hill? The house upon the hill will soon be bought by Bill. Uh huh. Think not? They probably left you 10% extra on your house if you take one of his special ingredients. Oh, the butterfly. Look at the bomb going off out here in the Tasman Sea. Do you see it in the sea? Maybe black of the sunlight there too? What about the phytoplankton? What about them? What about the fauna? The fauna. This big haze down low. That's your glitch making a cloud. You know when they tell you it's just a glitch? Well, Toscan, why is the glitch making a cloud? Mm-hmm. Something coming along in a line over here, deploying something. Boom, 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 boom! Went the plumes. Away, away, away they go. Bomb, bomb, bomb over here, the big squares. Look at Look at the big square, Jewish star. Messianic symbol over there, compasses square. Meanwhile, you ain't look while you're looking at the compasses square. The Fabian Club is is, is the wolf in sheep's clothing. Yeah. Uh huh. Open your other eye and see. The only time some people open their eyes is when the shit is coming out. I think. Look at this bomb going off over here with all these tendrils coming from its center point. Right, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, bomb, 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 and again, and again. The wicked creature, woo! Let's run this fast, see if we can pick up any waveforms coming through. See on the low deck, this going that way, marching while this one's coming that way? Well, you're going to fuel some lightning with that. As it does the waves. Different layers of the atmosphere moving in different directions like this. It's not a normal thing to happen a lot, you know. An occluded front was was an unusual thing. Yes, that's what it's called. Yeah. Yeah, I might know a few things. Look at the bombs going in a different direction. Everything's flowing this way, right? Except this, this, these truckers right up here. Convoy. Boom, boom. Y'all going down there to uh, participate in... Use your gasoline <laughs> and such. Y'all go down there and do get your freedom last time. Don't leave till you get it. Right? Don't leave till you get it. There should never be a time limit to a protest. And you should never say we're going to do this next week in advance. You should realize that next week you will have advanced. Here's a super cloud. Super man. Look at the bomb going off out here in Queensland. Oh my god. Chemical attack on Australia. Chemical attack. <laughs> dive, dive. Where are you going to dive to when they did this over the ocean? You going to put a snorkel on? You walk around the whole time looking like a Covidia with a plastic bag over your head? Look at the Fall Street cloud right here. They blowed it out. Absolutely blowed it out. I could see that all the way from up there when even when it was blurry. See the eyes of the owl? Ooh. Over the reef, the flower of death. That's what I call that one. The chemtrail going. If it's on the chemical uh, periodic table, the chemicals, and it's leaving a trail and it's being used, it is a chemical trail. Don't numb not yourself when you when you argue with me about that. That's not what it's called. It's a contrail. Contrails dissipate when they get to ambient air temperature, right? You know what ambient air temperature is? It's what's between your fucking ears when the brain leaves. Or it ain't generating no heat of its own. It's, it's it's the same temperature as the room around you or the air around you. And well, you ain't kind of sitting too well then. Oh. Oh, God. I just took a green smoothie. Oh, God. You never did. I always make the funniest faces when I drink one of those. Thank you for that beautiful love from Byron Bay, though. That powder that's really uh, 
It's been an essential for my health. Call Dan. Byron inspired truth more than greens. And he's got a beautiful feather ready. Okay, let's give you some town names so you know exactly where I am. Bowen McKay. At the Corridor of Inquist, actually. You guys are going to cop it. So it'll be good to watch the setup here. Bit of a microwave burst there going off. It absolutely ate up the chem that came over the top, so the catalyst got used. That's how I think it had. Hey, Georgetown. Boom! Hey, Cairns. Wow, look at that one blow up quick, eh? That didn't take long. Four hours to a full square storm. Full square. You know, not a big round super saw. When you look here, you go, wow, that's a round saw. Meanwhile, over here, hey, Alamein left with a boom, boom, boom. You know, with the Ken Bomb dough over there and they're, that they're scraping up. There's cans, right? Dan, 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 boom, 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 can, can, boom, 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 can, 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 boom, boom. Look at the square. See? Think a patchwork quilt. It's not a naturally occurring cloud formation. You actually got a square down low. I see another square here with one, two, three, four tickle bombs. Right? Hey, the horns of Satan on that side. Uh, the 666 over here. Look at this. This is a bomb. See another explosion there out in the, over the, uh, the international waters of these islands out here uh, that look kind of like uh, uh, Cassiopeia. And it, <laughs> it's a dark cluster. The constellation. The constipation. The Cassiopeia. The Cambamiopia. What a bunch of dopias not believing in the Cambamopia. Welcome to Cambamberia. You'll get Cambamberia if you breathe too much Cambam. Cambamberia. Wipe your ass with Cambams. Hey, you know it's in your toilet paper, right? So some of the fibers in your toilet paper might be Cambam there. What do you think farted more, dinosaurs or a cow? What, well, the global warming? What about the dinosaurs with their farts? Or do you think possibly that never happened and it's a lie and they want money because the government loves to lie to you? Why? Because you're a sucker fish to them. You're a wallet. You're a dead man. You were, you gave up your rights at birth and didn't even know it. And Well, try taking him back. You'd be the artist formerly known as Prince. I think he did that. Look at this bomb here. Look at that. Look at this clusterfuck out to sea. You don't be letting children listen to my broadcast. I'll get mad at you. Yeah. Uh, they can hear how we're making a beautiful world. I don't want them to hear we're being they're being killed by this sickness mix. And we and we haven't gone through the measures necessary to make it stop. When when the lion's pride is in danger. Does the man sit and lick his balls? And his son? Or does he protect the pride? Think about that. And when they're lying on you all the time, it ain't nothing but an MGMO freaking nothing to me. Oh, big old roar. As I watch these Kembams destroying ocean life with the shock waves of the very explosions of their existence. What is that, the guy peeking over the wall? Meme you would see in the toilet? Hey, somebody wrote graffiti? Hey, my sky looking like a shark. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah. Oh. See the wagon wheel? That shit's saying got sky right there, man. It's shooting off another bomb right there. Ten minutes on. Ten minutes on. On and on and on and on and on. All your storms brought to you by the chem bombers. By the chem bombers. As we go down here over here to the Bristane. Yeah. Bristanians. I'm in a mood. People keep telling me I'm older than I am a day early. <laughs> I really appreciate your thank yous and your thinking about me. Boy, that sky is so moist. Why is that a trigger word? Why does the word moist bother people? Do you want your cake dry? 
or moist. Would you rather have ashy skin? Or would you rather be moist? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to trigger you. Because you have to analyze your life. If you're triggered by something, you have some looking at something. To do. Was it the clumps? Was it the movie or the clumps that did it? When she said that, I... Who was it made her moist? <laughs> <laughs> Mike Douglas. Mike Douglas was the only white man made moist. Remember that one? Is that what did it? I don't know. I ain't never met a girl who was moist, man. That shit was just fucking wet. Jeez. So I'm just gonna just leave it at that. Oh, look at the boom. I told you, little children don't be listening to this. You never know what I'm gonna say. Here's Q's, there's Q's healthy one going by. Go jump up and get it. See, look, it spells the word cunt in this case. See this? Or is it fuck? F-U. It definitely looks like some skywriting going by. Na 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 boom 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 plume 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 you hetchu 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 hu boom bit a boom 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 bit a boom 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 so long farewell take it jag good night I hate to take this booster then I die used to be dying suddenly was like getting hit by a bus or something wasn't it boy is it a fucked up world where we get lied to boy do some people just absolutely get duped it'll defend your choice you see this color blue here a little darker than this like that right down here should be what the color of the sky should actually look like if it didn't have all this Chemical haze, plasma dust, and all this shit that's in your sky blocking the sunlight enough already. Or they're waving the flag of something. Oh, Bill Gates' logo again. He has to advertise. See that down here is up there. Gates Foundation well funds this. I showed that before. I gave you a juicy document today. You need to pour over it. These are facts, not found in copy machines, not played out as something secret given to somebody. These are government documents you go look at. They're proof, right? There's, there's no, there's no tinfoil hat in it. And that's old document too. I've, I've known that one a while. That's why you go with the other one. But that document I passed you today is the basis of documents used in the Paris Agreement, which is the basic and stuff that's been used for every cop meeting ever since. So I'm giving you the order of operations. Do you see that's an upper level deployment while this one's going down underneath it? See? See how they went over the top? That's very high up. This one streamer's coming by that I'm following in front of. And those bombs are going down there on a the low deck. And these ones are going on another level. But look how they interact when they go over the top and, of each other. And this is something that's called studying. And you will watch this every day for hours and hours until you try to get patterns and notices. And then see what it does weatherwise and then well after a while you might be able to give forecast like 18 days and 15 16 days in advance like i often do because i could read this shit i could read it man and when you could read it on the day you get an accurate forecast where's the corridors of complaints today right through here right through here there's a bomb area of rain for today uh, it is a bomb area for rain seeping down through the corridor through here. Definitely through here. Look at the perturbation there. And they're already spraying the sickness mix. Wedgies, man. The dong, the dong, dong, dong. Hey, your lips hanging down. Oh, it's a dude, man. It's a testicle hanging down. He's wearing a speedo. Don't do it, dudes. Come on. Put some shorts in. Don't, don't walk around in your thongs. Nobody wants to see the around-the-hip weenie grip, man. It is wearing. See how that clouds just stay in place? There's mountains there. <laughs> yeah, but these other ones ain't. That's a, that'll be electromagnetic frequency. The direction of the winds can sometimes naturally make that effect too. I have to say that. It can. So we have to know the direction of the wind is this way, so those should have gone ripple like that. And it didn't really. Like it should have went that way. Like this, that, and it is. And if it had put them down spiking like that, I would have said that might have been a natural one. See this see this waveform coming on the low deck wiping out the clouds? That's created a heated flow that should pin most of this here. So they'll go get a couple separate systems and you're gonna put a spinner out. You can just see it starting. 
you see it's starting and that'll slow that flow down and put a secondary spinner up here because the backup of that into that into that causes a a friction in the turbulence of the viscosities of the flow boundary lines <laughs> put that down on your test what did he just say <laughs> you my children are listening the children of the future might listen. We'll let them know that this is how we won the war. By not keeping our mouths shut and telling the truth. And trying to leave the hope in the children. So that they can manifest the beautiful world that's inside them. That they know is there. Right? Let us let us do the hard part for them. And upon my back, they could stand. And they could change the light bulb. That I can't reach. Woo! That was deep. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, I love your work, Amy. Do you still doing art? When you drew that picture, that sea turtle that time I like. I'll never forget you had art that affected somebody. Yeah. And I'll never forget the shardy ass skies I described. So that, that uh, you guys uh, can show this as the evidence. And this, that streams into a mix that comes in toward Australia at some point. At what point that A-frame even matter in your sky? Ori oh you be at hard Ori oh every ten minutes ten minute hops man it's, these these chemtrails ain't dissipating they're not being done by the jet planes it's an entirely new method this is the artillery method the artillery method it's governed in the Paris Agreement governance document Siggy one 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 geoengineering. Yeah, come on. Come on. Look, look at the document. Great. Right. If you're not if you if you're not familiar with this document, become familiar with it. Become very familiar with page thirteen, first paragraph, last sentence. Great. Right. Now go right to it. Right here, potential delivery vehicles for stratospheric sulfur dioxide, that makes sulfuric acid, artillery shells, aircraft, stratospheric balloons, and hoses suspended in towers. Where will you get the stratospheric balloons, you may ask? That's the easy one. That's Scopex. Scopex, Couch Group, Harvard. Look at this one up. Now here's some more homework for you. This is where you proven. This is fact. These are fact. This is funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation as well. And that is a fact. And when you look at this, you see these big balloons. You see these gondolas. You see where they talk about perturbation. Right? Gondolas. Hey, little kids. They can even achieve walking speeds. They are controlled. Controlled. And they're that small. That small is all. So all this is here for your enjoyment. And their websites. And all this sits with policies. And all this is mumbos and jumbos. And all this shit. Redirecting you to the Scopex advisory committees. And I'll pop you this information as well. So, well, you could present it however you want. You can even leave my name out of it because it probably will help you follow him because I'm the black sheep of the black sheep. And all this stuff is well documented, well there, well paid for, additional financial questions. And all this is right here. All right here. In response is Harvard's uh, Solar Geoengineering Research Program. Research Program at Harvard University. Don't tell me. This is fake. Ever. When I can tell you these totals. How long ago, Lismore, did I give you your first time? How long ago, Ballin, did I tell you and I didn't back down? Even when their four kids tried to, try to throw you off the trail. You must understand. They want to lie to you. They want you stressed. They don't want you to believe people that are telling you the obvious truth. And when they flipped this four kiss back over to what I showed you a while back, I said, yep. You fucking bastard. You're trying to trap people on these roads. You're trying to kill people. Otherwise, you'd stay on this all along. Shame on you. Shame on you. And whoever reports the stats into this 
this particular site windy. Yeah, it is very often inaccurate. I just use it for a graphic. Anybody who knows me knows I disagree with this all the time. When you got this son of a bitch all over the shop for five days, they can't agree on nothing. Nothing. Oh, do you finally get honest? Oh, thank you very much. You might as well say it's going inland to Charlieville. You're getting honest. Now you're getting honest. Because that water from over here had to go somewhere. Boy, is that going to be a sweep? That's a sweep move. Yeah, yeah. Then this folds down, up, and around. And this will do a back, up, and in. This comes like that underneath it. Always does. They do it in the Gulf of Mexico all the time. I see. I, I recognize the move just from the look of the moisture. I know what the next five days will do. That'll fold down and in. And boy, is she packing a wallop. Look at how much water's up here. In two batches. <laughs> Earlier today, they said that tendril over there was packing 700. You see what I mean? He just, so it's been scattered. But it's 700, has been spread out. It's, it can get cut um, by the eddies coming through. Let's say like this is Bali. Comes through here and here. All the eddies of the air will, will definitely uh, spread the moisture out. You don't need a beam to do that. So that was interesting. Nice looking, Catherine. It's a bit dark. Not too high. You're watching. There's a couple. There's a couple spots I'm concerned about. All right, it's not fast enough. Somebody just walked in front of the modem. I picked a bad time to do that. So your, your coast road's going to have problems. Would you like to see what's going to go on in the next 48 hours? Let's do that part. Let's turn off the dramatics. As it is, it just, it's just going to stress you out if you see them swirling winds off your coast that are there now. But maybe if I do that, somebody might heed. Maybe you'll heed this more. Tazzy, heed that. Look at the line coming over your uh, Tasmania over the next... Uh, Six to twelve hours. It's going to come through quick, and it's just going to be very windy, and with some rains. You get a nice break coming up, and then uh, New Zealand. You're going to have a wet day, as as this thing fucks offshore. Your next batch comes. The chem bombs will do the cider. So you've got a you've got a very busy day over about the next twelve hours over uh, Queensland. I want the lightning on. It more kicks off when the low comes to this side is when you get it. That's when she's pumping it in right. Oh, man. It's a heavy tendril that's coming in. I been I was wondering which side they were going to send it. That's packing a lot of water. Some, some of these falls will be in the two centimeter an hour range. Yeah, three hours at... Fuck. That ain't, that ain't right. Should be higher. You, you win for a night. That's yes, for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Fuck. Yeah, not good for you guys. Where's a safe place for you to go? Hmm. Hear that? <laughs> Taint. Hey, about... Hey, maybe about two rows up in a parking deck. Not on the edge. If you camp out in a parking deck. Well, you ain't worried about the flash flood underneath you. My gosh, there's going to be nowhere to go up north. There'll be some soggy roads what's left of them. Let's try it. Hi, Karumba for Karumba. Fuck. Yeah, man, I see you're in for it. Not going to go much further than that. Try not to wind you up of what's coming, man. It was a bad one coming. Yeah, it's coming about the 8th. Watch. I already know. Sheesh, this is total. Your totals are through here. Are going to be huge. It ain't telling you. Like that one corridor there. Ain't no way that thing is going to be only at that. Nah, man. You double that. On the tents. If that's occurring, no way. It's going to be like that. It's going to be devastating. The hails and stuff that's going to produce. Pressure lines on that ain't too bad. Sydney and the gong and stuff, man. Heads up. 
you guys are getting your first heads up from nothing to something so I'm keeping a close eye on this especially the gun there's something they want there so something on the after the fives is uh, next week we're gonna have to keep a very close eye on for this section of the coastal highway that they seem to be targeting uh, by the uh, by the weather warfare I've been noticing going on oh yeah, that's more in line with what I've said, that the totals were wrong for all those storms coming across. So they're showing you the storm, right? But they're not giving you the totals. They're giving you the totals and not hardly showing you the storm. Now, they got it at near accurate. So you guys in this corridor here are going to see a devastating amount of rain, a devastating amount of hail, and, well, it's devastating news to have to deliver. Fuck. In. Oh. That, that's going to be a rough night for you guys. That's about five dinner time. So make sure you get your spaghettis cooked. Make sure you get, or salad or something that night. So you can eat on the fly in case your power goes out. Oh. Lando Kane. Every three hours, that's dumping five centimeters. Fucking hell. There go your bridges. There goes your roads on that stretch. That's gone. That's a gone. All along that whole stretch, and all of this gonna run right over towards St. George. Oh my! A GTFO St. George. You got about. F you got a few days warning, but your wetness has already started. The Baloney River over there. I know. Somebody's going to tell me. Yeah, man. They got the Baloney River where the A5549 meet at the Baloney River. And they're going to snatch your Baloney. Poor George. He's getting pegged with the Baloney. Oh, my. And another one. So that whole tropical tendril's coming down. It's going to come down through the corridor. So everything from up here is coming down there. Okay, I needed to know that. I got to say it. That pressure line moves two degrees south. All that comes right here. All of it. So, watch this space. This is a bad situation. Fuck. Kitty Mac, fuck, fuck, fuck. Son of a bitch. But here's your, here's your it. And the accumulations are looking again back toward what they showed the other day. What are you doing there this morning? Where are we at here? Brunswick's heads. How much to see there? Red sky in morning, everyone's horning. Red skies. Hey, somebody had a bonfire going down there last night. You could have took that home. That's good firewood. Good fun, though. Uh, what's up with that? Ah, somebody had some amusement. Well, how come I didn't see no fire in any of the pictures? Oh, because it's already gone. The remains and the memory remains. Well, wow, it's not much to see here today, folks. They come for your uh, your coastal roads, and I think that's about um. Thank you very much for the happy birthday wishes, Cambombe. So let's have a look at some of the combinations here to setting up some of the storm conditions you're going to run into over the next 24 hours. I showed you these ones over here. Let me go down to the corner over here. Show you some of what over here, the Tasmaniacs down here. Boom and boom and boom, 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 boom. Interesting.
Now you see it, now you don't. Cambomination. Cambomination. Stop masturbating in your head. You're in denial. You'll soon be dead. Mastication. Chew on this thought for a while. You guys got bombed really, really bad. Look at that line. Boom. Boom. See if we can get that a little clearer. I know you got a mountain range and all, but you don't always have like three dots going in front of it. And what a, what a devil horns and... And you never warns and... line of crap went over here Richmond Nelson over the range these archers pass as he passed the gas on oh, archers pass big square over here up outside of Auckland and the islands over there you say tell me geoengineering ain't real I say you ain't got no real brain in your head to do any thinking you know what they're fucking around it's time for her to find out Ooh, volcano came out of the ocean. How do you think all these islands form? When you talk about a Vanuatu volcano, that's a good distraction. Was Bigfoot in the news recently? <laughs> do we see any plumes of a volcano? That's another thing I'm curious about. They'll show up better in uh, NASA Worldview. So that'll be tomorrow's image. I don't think it would be on today's. Whoa, it's bright. Bright light, bright light. Let's see if that epoxy will go. Fixed my one. Had to do some gluing. Yes, right. I'll put the Herkimer back in. Maybe. Uh, I want to see if there's any uh, the volcanism to be seen here. hard to pick up anything there with all the, the sun's glare like that. You get a good shot of a lot of chem out here in the ocean. EMF on the low deck. Bomb clusters adding catalysts. Here, here, here. That whole line. Total shit smear white out of New Zealand itself to the land of the long ass chem bomb. Look at a big square there over my window. This is rain. The macro sky used to be where, every, you know, a rare thing. But with EMF, it's every day. And now it even smells like old nasty kipper some mornings. Yep, kipper sky. Marine cloud brightening. Where they're allowed to uh, spray seawater into the air. Or pond water. To reflect sunlight back to space. I don't think that sounds very healthy. You know, breathe some algaes or something from the pond? I don't think so. What happens when you when you breathe in water from drowning in a pond? They always they gave you something for your lungs to make sure you didn't get an infection. Well, you might get lung infections possibly from seawater and pond water being sprayed. And I'd like to see the studies about this. I could tell you my opinion is I don't want to do that. As I'm looking at these square formations here over the island, those are not round clouds. Yeah, I'm doing this specifically for a New Zealand group. Something came along in a line here and deployed something. And heavy EMF dispersing it. Chem bomb cluster right here. Here, 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 here. Make you go goo goo these goo goo clusters. Something came along in a line and deployed like that. Like that chaff deployment that those planes do. And I'll, I'll have to pop you guys a link about uh, comparing chem bombs and fireworks so you'll see what I'm talking about. I do my own homework. I don't trust anybody else. I like to get my own grade in life. I like to know I'm understanding something. If you understand it, that's great and all for, for you. Uh, you know, if I don't understand something, how am I going to be informed for myself? How can I describe something with my own words? If I don't understand it. NASA accidentally shows science of weather manipulation. is what Somebody would put a title on this to get a lot of clicks. But you can also see the chemical catalyst from the chem bombers. Uh, here, here, and here with the center emanation point. To, with the streamers at them there. You just pick up one here. One, two, three streamers with the, with the sides going to it. And this is NASA Worldview. You can find this publicly available site. That's the International Master Dateline. 
here it tells you what day to go to work like on this side of the line it's my birthday over here it's not the 59 years old what, what's my big accomplishment in life I probably saved millions of cattle this year I feel fulfilled by helping people and I'm only 10 years away from 69. That'll be nice. I really look forward to seeing it when I'm 64. <laughs> do, 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 do. Bomb in the breeze when the lights are off. Do, 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 do. do. Well, they can bomb your wood by the fireside. It's glowing lithium up in the skies. You picked that up in the lightning sometimes. The plasma snake is clearly a lithium cola. Clearly, this is a combination out here over the ocean. And I say good day to this program. And if they ask me, you gotta go, I said good day! How dare you do this? How dare you, how dare you, girl, got mud on your shoes while all of us have blood on our hands as complacency kills the life under this shroud of death. Just keeping sunlight away from things that have a birthright to have sunlight. Because that's how they eat. That's how they photosynthesize. Well, and as we become more of a synthetic world, it's no surprise that photosynthesis is not as loved as it used to be. And well, as I look back at my world and see what they've done to her today. I hang my head, not in shame, but in a prayer to oneness that I've, I've really, I've helped myself all I can now. Could, could you help me? It's time for you to come on down here, rein this shit in. Each and every one of us has, has a task to do. And if we don't do the task we're supposed to do for the big love of this big all, and why the hell did you come here? Only you can answer that question. Big love. Peace.